a platonic relationship between a man and a woman, which means beyond words, and also journey into the interior of Australia, which proves to be very dangerous. This forms the basis of the novel Was. Hello, this is Hina from Team Test, and today we shall see the capsule summary, which means short but very effective summary of this novel. But before that, I hope you know that online course for the upcoming NET exam has begun under the guidance of our dear ma'am, Dr. Kalyani Walad. Well, in this exclusive course, all-inclusive course, you will get live classes, printed books, PDF notes, quizzes topic-wise, model test papers, and also guidance for paper one. So if you want to begin with this course now, better late than never, you can contact us on 93878-39871. Let's now begin with was. Well, it was authored by Patrick White. He is a British-born Australian novelist, which means he was born in London, but moved to Australia in early childhood. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 1973. And Was, which was published in 1957, is inspired by a real life explorer. The name of this explorer was Mr. Ludwig. He's from Prussia and he went missing in the Australian outback. What is outback? Aisa area kisi country ka jaha pe koi nahi rehta. Bohat ghana, maha par kuch tribes hongi, kuch aborigines hongi, but it is sparsely populated. It is densely, thickly covered with forest and it is very dangerous. Extreme weather conditions. That is outback. You know, it is more remote than the bushes. Okay, did you get it? Now, few important characters in this novel are protagonist, of course, is Johann Ulrich Voss, or we'll call him Voss only. He's a German and a proud man who wishes to explore the Australian inland or the Australian bushes in the year 1845. Then there is the Bonner family, which consists of Edmund Bonner, his wife, and his child, Belle. So Edmund Bonner is the financial sponsor or the supporter of this trip, of this expedition of Was. Okay. Laura is the heroine of this novel. She is Edmund's orphaned niece, which means she's Belle's cousin. She's a quiet girl who's always surrounded by books and she is Wass's love interest. How? I'll tell you later in the novel. Belle, as I told you, is Edmund's daughter, but she's quite unintelligent, not impressive. And Rose portion is Bonner's servant. She's naive and simple, okay? Now, the members who will accompany Was on this expedition, you should know their names. Ekdam se yaad nahi honge, but dheere dheere abhi naam sun lije and aage jaise apan badhenge, you will understand more about them. So these members accompany Was. First is Harry Roberts. He idolizes Was as a hero. Second is Paul Freeman. He's an ornithologist, which means an expert on birds. And he wants to learn about Australia's flora and fauna. That is why he's going on this expedition with Was. He's Paul Freeman. Third is Frank Le Messerier. He undertakes the expedition for self-knowledge. Okay, Messerier, self-knowledge man. Turner is a drunkard and he forces to come along. He tells Was, I'll be of help to you. Take me with you to this expedition. Then fifth is Judd. Judd is a former convict. Convict means criminal or apradhi. Sixth is Ralph Angus. He's wealthy, handsome and arrogant. Okay. Seventh is Dougal and eighth is Jackie. Dougal and Jackie are important characters. Both of them are aborigines. Okay. Somewhere, Was is a little reluctant to take them along, but he has to. So remember, Dougal and Jackie are aborigines. Now let's begin with the summary. The setting is Sydney right now. At the farewell dinner organized by Bonners for Was and his party, Was meets Laura. He's immediately impressed by Laura and requests permission to write to her while in the bushes. You know, he wants to write letters to Laura. He wants to be in touch with her. In one of his letters, when he's still in the mainland Australia, letters deliver ho rahe hai. So in one of his letters, he asks Laura to marry him. Okay. Laura agrees, but on one condition that they pray together for salvation. Okay. 
Now the journey begins, okay? After crossing the mainland Australia, the party is now moving towards the extreme, to the bushes. At first, their journey is easy. But as they penetrate the bushes further, they are challenged by the extreme weather, rough terrain, and hostile aborigines, and dangerous also, okay? Now, one such example is, this party lies for weeks in a cave, waiting for the rain to stop, okay? Now, Dougald, after all this, definitely does not want to continue, okay? So, Dougald requests to leave. So, right now, Dougal leaves. Was agrees and gives him the letters to deliver to Laura. But just after this, Dougal meets his tribe. Remember, Dougal is one of the aborigine. So, Dougal meets his tribe and on meeting his tribe, he destroys the letters which Was gave him to deliver to Laura. Okay, yahan tak samaj aaya. Next, meanwhile, Sydney mein kya chal raha hai? Laura catches a deadly fever and somewhat she becomes insane, okay? She recovers in health, but a little bit of insanity enters her. She already thinks of Was as her husband. She composes letters for him which cannot be delivered, okay? And she adopts Rose's child. You remember Rose, Bonner's servant? Now, Rose was pregnant. She gave birth to a child whom she named Mercy, but she died after that. So Mercy, the orphan, was adopted by Laura. And this child somewhat becomes a symbol of Laura's connection with Was, the spiritual and the metaphysical connection, okay? Now, what happens about the expedition? It's getting more dangerous. How? The aborigines, they kill Paul Freeman. You remember Paul Freeman, the ornithologist? You know, sorry, the ornithologist, the bird expert? He's killed because of which Judd, Angus and Turner, they go back. Judd is the convict. Angus, you remember, was the wealthy man and Turner was the drunkard. Ye tino chale jate hai, kehte hai, hum continue nahi kar sakte. While Ross, Roberts, Le Mesrier and Jackie continue. Because Roberts always idolizes Ross as a hero. So Roberts continue. Mesrier was doing this expedition for self-knowledge. He also continues. Jackie, the aborigine, is also with them. Was during this time becomes more close to Laura in a metaphysical manner. He holds imaginary conversations with Laura. And here Patrick White has shown stream of consciousness technique. He continues writing letters which cannot be sent. And both Laura and Was communicate with each other through visions. Okay, they're getting visions of each other. Now, the sad part begins, more sadness coming. In the heart of the drought-plagued desert, aborigines capture Was and his remaining partners. Fearful for his life, Jackie, who is himself an aborigine, joins hands with them, which means Jackie becomes part of his tribe. Le Mesrier commits suicide. Roberts is killed, while Was is killed with a knife by Jackie. So Jackie turns the traitor at the end. Jackie dies after some time. He became somewhat mad. But for his tribe, he's a, he's a hero, you know, because he killed Was. And Was thinks of Laura until the very end of his life. And before dying, he somewhat agrees that this expedition was futile and unnecessary. Okay? Ab novel ka end, which is 20 years later. The setting is Sydney again, where... A statue of Was the Explorer is unveiled. Here, a new character enters whose name is Colonel Hebden, and he wants to find the remains of the expedition. He wants to know was ki journey thi, iske beech -beech mein kya hua, kitni pareshaniya aai, what did they discover? So, Colonel really wants to talk to Laura, but Laura right now does not agree. Now, Judd, who was supposedly dead, was not. He enters at Rose's garden party, okay? Not Rose's. I'm sorry, it is Belle. Belle here. He enters at Belle's garden party. Belle, the daughter of Bonner, Edmund Bonner, okay? And Judd is the only explorer alive, okay? Judd is the only explorer alive. Laura now has become a schoolmistress and stays with her child, Mercy. And finally, she agrees to talk to Hebden about was and we come to the end of the novel was by patrick white i hope you like this summary and we're going to come with more such videos based on post-colonial studies just for you take care of yourself and 
do subscribe to our channel, Wallet's Desk by Dr. Kalyani Wallet, if you still haven't, and share our channel with all your friends and relatives who are really interested to know about English literature. Yes, take care. Bye-bye.